Have you ever watched a creative idea and wondered how in the world did this become so popular? Do you sometimes catch yourself humming the tune of a recent song over and over again? Or have you ever replied to a question with the catchphrase from an old ad campaign? If you have done one or all of the above, this is the show for you. On how did this become a thing, we take a closer look at why an idea or a thought that seems small, harmless, inane even, becomes such a huge hit. Do communication officials have some insight into the human psyche that we ourselves don't? Why do we sometimes remember an ad from years ago, but not what we ate for breakfast? Answers to all this and more. Join us every week on a TIC original podcast. How did this become a thing? Remember this? This is the beginning of the Cadbury Cricket 1993 ad. Yes, that iconic ad where we see a young woman in a floral dress biting into a Cadbury's dairy milk bar as she watches a game of cricket. The scoreboard shows 99 as the young batsman swings his bat to lift the ball up in the air. The ball misses the fielder and crosses clean over the boundary for a six. The music picks up and the young lady, elated by this wonderful turn of events, breaks barriers and rushes to the field to dance and celebrate. The original ad in the 90s showcased a new, young, modern, fearless India with a woman dancing unabashedly. It positioned dairy milk as more than just a treat for kids. The ad underlined that it was all right to celebrate tiny victories and dance like no one was watching. It went on to become Cadbury Dairy Milk's most iconic ad in India. Now, when that ad released in 1993, we watched it, we loved it, and simply never forgot it. But cut to 2021. Same ad, same adrenaline rush. Only this time, a young woman hits the six and a young man rushes on the field to celebrate. Stop, stop, stop. Did Ogilvy and Mather dare to make the same ad 27 years on? All they did was reverse gender roles. The 2021 ad went viral within a few minutes of its release on social media. Everyone from cricketers to Bollywood stars applauded the ad and Ogilvy for boldly remaking a classic and succeeding. So how did this simple idea become such an iconic ad? Let us break it down for you. First, let's figure out why the idea appealed to the masses. Let's start with the setting. Cricket. Arguably, India's most popular sport is the setting for the ad. Cricket has also been largely regarded as a sport for men, but this ad changes that popular perception by showing a game of cricket played by women, but with the same tension, anticipation of every shot and pack stands. Next, the timing of the release. The new ad, released 27 years after the original, played on the nostalgia card invoking childhood memories for both Gen X and the Millennials. They were thrilled to see the same ad celebrating the achievements of sportswomen this time, in their lifetime. Was it the music? The jingle sung by Shankar Mahadevan and music composed by Louis Banks was not changed for the new ad, which added to the nostalgia element. It was catchy, a year warm and extremely hummable. The lead pair are adorable. They acted well and gave that kids next door vibe. So why then did this simple idea become such a big thing? We talked to Kenaz Karmakar, the chief creative officer of Agilvi, and also someone who was instrumental in creating the new ad. She says the ad went viral because it was all about the message. Simple reason why it went viral is of course the idea of the ad, but also what you mentioned earlier is the, the popularity of the earlier ad. <laughs> the earlier ad was iconic. It was voted out of the century right. by the people of uh, India, where, where the girl goes and dances on the field. Mm-hmm. So there's so much love for the first act that, in fact, uh, you know, we did have butterflies in our stomach when we were making Good Luck Girls, which is the gender role reversal. But I think that the message was so sweet, and the timing of the message is uh, so perfect because it is a time where women are, you know, women achievers are, are taking over in every single field. Mm-hmm. Uh, that it resonated and touched people's heart even more than what we imagined. Mm-hmm. But even if you leave cricket aside, there's a larger message in the in the ad, which is for women achievers everywhere. 
and it's not just a message for women it's a message for men too what i love about it is again the guy jumps on the field and dances and cheers for his girlfriend it is it is a kind of affirmation for men across the country to cheer for the achievements of their of their uh, you know spouses or girlfriends or wives or daughters mm-hmm. which is something which has uh, existed in pockets but it should exist everywhere So that's how the Cadbury's cricket campaign went on to become such a hit. We hope you like and subscribe to this podcast and maybe even share it with a friend. Join us next week for another episode where we go behind the scenes and unravel another viral sensation on another episode of the TIC original podcast How did this become a thing?